everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am in the beautiful Lake District. I am currently staying at another place hotel who have very kindly gifted me this because, oh my God, there goes the dog. I was going to camp and then I saw the weather last week and I said, no, thank you. So I'm in the Lake District to help out a friend who is doing a fastest known time attempt of the 10 highest peaks in Scotland, England and Wales and Obviously, I am here for the England side of that and I'm just so excited. Basically, tomorrow we're running a long distance up some mountains in the fells and I don't know exactly how far I'm going to be doing, but I'm filming tonight because we're up at the crack of dawn tomorrow and then running from I don't know when to I don't know when. So <laughs> it's not me that's the important person here. It is James, but I'm going to bring you along to everything tomorrow and I guess tonight it's just time to eat and rest. Just arrived at the start of the trailhead. It's like a two hour drive to get here because driving in the Lake District is hard work. And that's what makes it so beautiful. But we are just about to head off now. It is like 10.30 already. So yeah, we've got to get cracking because we're a little bit behind schedule. But um, I'm hoping that James's legs will be very tired so that I can keep up. Yeehaw, we're off. <laughs> oh, it's good to be out. So we're going up Scarfell and then up to Scaffold Pike and Jane says it's a horrible, horrible, hideous climb, so we have that to look forward to. Christ alive. I have not done any mountain or hill running purposely for basically the last year and I also haven't really been to the gym so boy am I gonna feel this tomorrow in fact I'm feeling it quite a lot already oh, <laughs> Woo! but at least brutal brutal right How are you feeling, James? Um, yeah, surprisingly good. Yeah? Head's good. Legs are feeling a little bit fatigued, but... Well, that's a surprise. Tell me what you did yesterday. Uh, so yesterday we climbed the high, I, I climbed the highest 10 mountains in Scotland. Very nice. Um, which was 60K, 65K, Whoa. and for just under 5,000 meters. I think we finished, I did it in 26 hours with a sleep in between which is nice very good um that's very impressive yeah so what's the plan for you're already up this morning doing early morning things so right this, this morning ticked off uh Helvellyn and lower man which were our first two peaks in england and now we are going up to tick off seven more peaks this is our biggest leg of today hence uh, me hence, hence i'm the moral the, support the, of the, the day <laughs> uh, and then i've got a final peak which is on its own called skidor yeah um which is a little uh, Solitary. It's about 10k round. 10k round, yeah. out and back. Just there, this has to be one on its own, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. And then tomorrow on to Wales to do the 10 highest mountains in Wales. Epic. Yeah. Um, but That's holding amazing. Up, holding up all right. Bit of a back of knee twinge. But we all know that's pretty inevitable. That is when... inevitable. Um, yeah. But spirits are high, and we've got basically <laughs> the perfect day. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Look um, at this. Amazing! Well done. Half 
for the first climb done. We are only like 45 minutes in, which for that climb, I'm not, I don't think that's bad. Whew. Having a bit of break. We were only about halfway up to um, Scaffold Pike and Scarfell, so still a long way up to go, but it's a little bit more pleasant from here and it's no longer screw slopes, so that is a good thing. Snack number one, 45 minutes in. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> Pete numero uno for me. Scarfell. Whoo! <laughs> well oh. That is a big climb. Yeah. Wow. Eight, 1, eight, thousand meters, meters up. Jesus. Can I come up there? Otherwise, it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for you. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Peak number one. Second highest in England. Wow. We're an hour and a half into our run and doing the first bit of running. <laughs> Welcome to trail running. <laughs> it's good fun, it's quite rocky. Obviously, um, everything we do is at James's pace. Unfortunately, James is pretty quick. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with him. And it's been a while since um, my legs have done any sort of hills or technical trails or anything. These are decent though. This is nice and well groomed. Look at it. Why are you barring? Being You're being a goat. You're being a goat. Okay, sure. All right, James has gone mad. <laughs> so we're going down this little scree slope and then we're hitting the trail there. Uh, I, for one, am not practiced at trails and my little legs are just like, what? What are you doing? It's been a long old while since we've done anything like this, so exciting though. It's beautiful. Made it. Here comes James. So this apparently is called Lord's Rake. And also I have people, I can see people in the comments right now being like, you pronounce Gorfell Pike wrong. So, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I've never done it before. <laughs> Scorfell Pike. There we go. I think that's how you pronounce it. I believe it's pronounced Cake. <laughs> All right, thanks, James. Thanks, James from the Cotswolds. <laughs> I will try and get it right in the future. Whew. Either way, pretty gnarly up here. Um, so, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we doing, James? This is running. This is, this is this is running. Look at us this run. Is, this is what they call trail running. <laughs> We've done a 20 minute K. Poles might have to go away. Woo! Yeah, poles away, I think. Jeez. Kind of epic. Yeah. Holy! Holy hell! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Oh, wow. I think we found where everyone is. <laughs> the whole of the Lake District here. Peak 14. Peak 14. I'll take Peak's Challenge. Very good. Nice. Half our pike, highest in England. 
Yahoo! Summit number three. Yes. Nearly there. Nearly there. I'm on top of the world. Hey. And straight back down. So I've got to catch up with everyone else. Peak number four. Oh, 7K. So mostly from here, it's a lot easier. These are just some really difficult boulder fields, but the, oh God, the elevation gain is at least easier. Um, yeah, which I'm very happy about. My heart is like, what are you doing? After keeping it in zone two for so many months. I'm like hiking up a hill with my heart at 180 or whatever. That's tough work. Um, about the first mountain, I honestly nearly cried because not from being tired, just from happiness. I mean, this is my happy place and I haven't been able to do anything like this in so long. Like my last ultra marathon was a year ago, a year and three weeks. And um, I, didn't know when I was going to be able to get back to it and of course this is not an ultra marathon but this is a step in the right direction and that means so much to me it's um it's pretty emotional actually uh yeah because with EBV the the illness I have it is an open-ended thing you don't know if you're going to get better let alone when you're going to get better um so you just have to sort of hope for the best and um maybe expect the worst as well. And I kind of, I hadn't resigned myself to never being able to do ultras again. I don't think I ever will. I'll always live with a bit of hope that I'll be able to do that. But equally, I had resigned myself to it maybe being a couple of years, but I feel okay here. In fact, I feel, I mean, I'm not fit, but I do feel good doing this kind of thing again. Like this feels like where I belong. And that means a lot to me. James says we're at Great End. I'm having a bit of a sit down. We are I'm eating at the same time some ginger raws from Caffeine Bullet. They, they sent these to me and I'm testing them out for the first time. Um, but anyway, we're having a, a little sit down because James is not only running the 10 highest peaks in all these countries, but also he is also creating content for them. And um, usually like the, so most of the editing is done by other people, but sometimes as and when we find signal, he has to send stuff over to his team, which seems like making the whole thing way harder than it needs to be. And it's very impressive. Like if you were an elite athlete, you would never be expected to do all of this kind of stuff because obviously you have a whole team. But for James, you know, he he's a very good runner, but he's not, you know, he's not a sponsored athlete. And so he's not got this. He's got a really good team, but he's not got a huge team. And so there's not like five, six people dealing with all the content stuff at all times. So. He is not only running this city distance, but also doing all the content for it, which is pretty badass. Um, I know I create content for my races and stuff, but I would not, you know, I, I do that all afterwards. I take all the content on the race and then I edit everything afterwards. He is literally getting everything out day by day, which I think is crazy. <laughs> and I say that as a content creator, but I am also very impressed. And the quality of the content that he's putting out is phenomenal. So it's clearly paying off. Um, and just so that you guys know, his Instagram is James Norbury with some underscore somewhere. So follow him on Instagram and TikTok. I just fell in a bog. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Oh. Try trail running, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Mm-hmm. Yup, love it. Absolutely love it. We're only 11 kilometers in, but three hours 50 and I'm starting to doubt my ability to do the 
final peak. We're coming up to Bofal now and um, pretty tired. I've never, not since my marathon running have I done four hours on feet and those four hours were quite a bit easier. And I think uh, this last year has, or well, last two years has knocked my confidence a bit with my abilities because sometimes I feel okay and I go out and I'm quickly reminded even without fatigue how unfit I am in comparison to two years ago and that's a bit of a bit of a tough pill to swallow um but anyway I'm just cracking on I'm behind James which is not ideal because obviously he's the one who's we're supposed to be going at his pace not the other way around but if he needs to finish without me he can uh, but yeah I can't believe how tough these trails are you've got a bit of everything this is nice easy I'm back on an actual path which is nice but <laughs> now it's just bogs bogs for the last two kilometers and it's just brutal it just saps your strength and I've got to go back this is an out and back bit to just bag this peak which is both foul and then I've got to go back along that same bit which is just hideous. Oh, <laughs> I'm knackered. Sheesh. But James is just ahead of me. I had lost him for the last like three kilometers, um, which is easily like 40 minutes in this. Whew. And but I now found him again. He's coming back down this way. Oh, and I'm about to reach the peak, which will be like my penultimate peak. Third from end, I think. Very exciting. one more ascent to go and then we get back down. Unfortunately, this ascent is half the elevation gain of the first ascent, which was hellish. That was a whole nearly 1,000 meters. This is nearly 500 meters and it goes straight up. So on tired legs, I think it's gonna be a challenge, um, but I think it's great gable maybe. Um, but anyway, I will see how I feel when I get to the bottom. I do have the option since this is not my record attempt of waiting at the bottom and just waiting for James to quickly pop up and pop back down again but that feels a little bit like cheating don't you think so who knows maybe I'll go out it's only 3k round but it's uh straight up and then straight back down again anyway I'm feeling a lot better now we're actually moving which is nice I found James again which is nice we have water again, which is very nice. Um, we're really lucky that at this time of year, usually it's pretty dry and we've had such an insane amount of rain recently that the rivers are flowing properly and it's great for cooling down. Oh, uh, and James is feeling good. Are you feeling good? Feeling good. He's done 18 out of his 30 peaks, about to do number 19. Look at that thing. <laughs> It is bonkers, isn't it? Who put that there? <laughs> Disgusting.
are still climbing. How are we still climbing? <laughs> we've got 150 meters more up to go. But look how far we've come. Not bad, hey? We're down there by the uh, lake. <sighs> and I'm a sweaty mess. This is the hottest part of the day. It's 21 degrees, <sighs> which is gorgeous, obviously, but also kind of hellish <laughs> when you're overheating. But thank God the, um, the, uh, the others have those filter water bottles because that meant that I could refill mine, which is obviously vital for safety. And on a day like today, I am sweating balls, <laughs> as they say. <sighs> Nearly at the top though. Oh God. <sighs> and I decided to do that final peak, as you can probably tell. I thought it'd be cheating not to, and I thought I'd keep James company, you know, but he is uh, way too fast for me. Just 50 more meters up until we're at the peak here. And then that's our final peak. It's literally all downhill, all the way over there which will be incredible and probably horrible on my very untrained quads. I was just thinking, like, I'm utterly knackered now, but I'm really happy. And I was thinking that that's the funny thing about fatigue is that it's not that I'm scared of being tired because when I do something like this, I, I love being tired because there's actually a reason, you know, you've done something really amazing or you're doing something really amazing that's making you really exhausted. Whereas with fatigue, you can do absolutely nothing and not be able to get out of bed. And that's why it's so worrying. I love being tired. <laughs> I spend my life trying to exhaust myself in various different ways. <sighs> um, and this is a decent place to do it. Well done. Great Gable, final one 19. of this loop from Peak 19. Bonkers. Made it to the top, gonna have a quick gel and go back down again. No time to celebrate. <laughs> phenomenal and that descent was absolutely epic i feel like it's taken me this whole time to get my eye in to the the rocks and the trails i mean i still feel a little bit like more nervous than i'm used to feeling but um just on that bit there i really felt like i was back <laughs> flying down my watch told me otherwise it was definitely not flying but <laughs> it felt really good and that is the important thing and now we're going into this incredible view so much. Thirty-five meters to go. Oh, what a beautiful van? place. Yeah, we've lost the van. We can see it, but we don't know how to get to it. <laughs> I am broken. That was epic. 24, just under 24K, nearly 2,000 meters of climbing, which doesn't sound a lot, but uh, it does sound like a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot, um, especially on these little legs. I'm very happy with that. Six hours, 31, certainly not setting any records, but six hours, 31 on feet. That's the most I've done since OCC last year, which was nine hours. So, oh. <gasps> I'm so happy! <laughs> I can't believe I did that! Like, what an incredible place to completely exhaust myself. <laughs> this is my happy place. Oh, yes! James is now going off to do Skidor this evening, um, which is kind of crazy because I think if I tried to run again, I might die. And uh, I'm going off for dinner and I've got a vegan sausage roll here. <laughs> which I'm very excited about. One of the crew got it for me, which is so sweet. So yes, it is very impressive that he's going to do that. In fact, here he is running topless because he's just gone for a dip in the river. 
You've lost some clothes. Where are your Where are your clothes? Uh, they're here. I went for a swim. <laughs> I had to. How do you feel about today? Ah, oh, so good. Yeah. So good. I was just saying to Alex, like, today was the leg that I was the most stressed about. Yeah. The most worried about. Uh, the most technical terrain. Best leg of the project so far. Yahoo! Sometimes having the lowest expectations means yeah. you get the best result. It was so good. <laughs> so I'm really chuffed and. Uh, yeah, just got to get this last peak done. Nice, I can't believe you're going back out again. <laughs> what an epic, epic day out. That was so incredible. It is now the next day. I'm going out for a little hike near Ullswater, which is where I'm staying. And I'm very sore today, I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since I've um, done any mountains. It's certainly been a while since I've used any poles. My lats today are absolutely broken. I think by the end I was not climbing the hills with my legs. I was just climbing them purely with my arms. Um, but it was so much fun. I'm really surprised how much I managed to do. And although a lot of it was just hiking, the terrain was so difficult, um, but a huge amount of fun and a great reintroduction to the world of trail running. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button i'll be back with you next week for more running content hopefully i'll be out on the trail sometime soon as well i've just got to do this half marathon in october and then fingers crossed all being well with my health i will be back out on the trails right now i'm going to go and test my drone so if i get any cool drone shots i'm going to stick them in after this but until then thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye